Okay, so here we have a few different isosceles triangles and our goal here is going to be to show that in any isosceles triangle the angles opposite the equal sides are equal. So if we just start with our first one here on the left, um, in this case that's going to mean we just take each angle opposite the equal sides. So we have one here and this angle is going to be equal to the other angle that's opposite an equal side, uh, which is over here. And that's kind of it for the first triangle, just, just to show you that um, the two sides we know are equal, we know that the angles opposite those equal sides are also going to be equal. And so in our second case, it's a little bit tougher to see uh, which angles are actually opposite the equal sides, but uh, the size of the angles kind of give it away here because one angle is so big. But in this case, uh, it's going to be this angle in here is equal to the other angle that's opposite an equal side, which is over here on the right. And uh, this is just to show as well that it doesn't matter if we know the side length, because in the first case, we didn't know exactly how long those equal sides were. We just know that they're equal, uh, which can happen in an exam. You know, they'll they'll draw a line like I have through the equal sides to indicate that uh, wherever you see these lines crossing the sides, uh, we have the same length. But in the second case, we have uh, two sides which are six centimeters long. And so we can say in this case as well that the angles opposite those sides are equal. And in the third case, um, we have another two angles here, which we know are going to be equal in measure because we have two equal sides and these are the two angles which are opposite those sides. So that's it for this theorem. It's quite a simple one, but it's going to be really useful in the exam. And just one thing to note here is that you don't ever have to prove this. Um, but if you do want to know why it's true, uh, I can just quickly mention that. So as you can see here in the first case, uh, I've just drawn a purple dotted line uh, straight down from the top angle to the bottom. And now we've created two mini triangles, in which case the purple dotted line is a side they have in common. We know that they've got two equal angles down here uh, because these are both 90 degrees because we've chosen a line which starts at the top and ends up being 90 degrees to the bottom line, which is perpendicular to the purple dotted line. And because our two sides on the left and on the right are equal, and they have uh, this side here in the middle in common, we know that the third side is equal, and therefore we have a side angle side. So we have the bottom two sides are equal. We have the 90 degree angle beside that, and then we have the side that's in common that runs up through the middle of the triangle. Uh, so therefore we've proven that these two mini triangles are the same and therefore because they're the same we know that the angles on the very left over here and the very right are going to be equal. But as I said you don't need to know that proof it's just kind of useful I think to see where it comes from. Uh, but as long as you understand that the angles opposite the equal sides are equal that's going to be okay here. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.